Hello there, my name's Graham. Today I'm going to get my JJCCR ready for diving in a GUE configuration. Three things we need for this. The first, a tiny coffee. The second, your Deriga boots. And the third is your golf tee. Hello Goldie, let's get you ready for diving. Now I've got all my bits and pieces. This is my oxygen regulator. You're probably interested what length the hoses are. Thirty-five to the T. Another thirty-five which will plug into the solenoid. Sixty to plug into the MAV, and then we've got a one twenty. No, I lied. This one's one ten. A one ten MyFlex high pressure hose. That one comes out of the middle of the stand. And these two, I go through the gap between the stand and the tanks. I've got my dry suit regulator and I have a spare hose on there which will go to the wing if I wanted to use the dry suit tank to inflate the wing. And that is on a 30 centimeter to the T and then we've got Ninety centimeters coming out for the dry suits, and then let's see. Seventy-five centimeter inflator for the wing, and we'll pop that in there, and then this can feed through here. You'll notice there's a transmitter on that regulator um, I think it's a good idea to know if your dry suit tanks gonna run out so that's why that's there but it's not vital most people don't have a pressure gauge on their dry suit tank okay my left post regulator I'm gonna dive with a BOV next time I go diving but I really don't care BOV or DSV um, that's got a 60 centimeter high pressure hose and the feed to the Above is quite important to be very flexible and I like the MyFlex here. Everywhere else I don't really care if it's MyFlex or normal rubber. And that is 80 centimeters. Choice of color, highly important as well. And that's going to root like that, you'll see in a minute. But basically that, that bend here is going to help like uh, give a bit of space for the hose to move. So the BOV lies flat uh, into the mouth. It doesn't give you jaw ache on long dives or if you're scootering. And then the last regulator that I should put in place here would be the right post. So I don't have enough hands to measure the long hose, so we won't bother measuring that, but I think you know it's 2.1 meters. And then this is straight out of the factory configuration, 
Um, in actuality, the length of this hose I'm measuring here doesn't really matter. Um, and that is a 55 centimeter hose. And then I've got a 25, um, a 25 centimeter regulator hose, and then a 65 centimeter inflator hose. The regulator hose plugs into the ADV and this feeds around into the wing. Some people use a really short hose here. Personally, I like this longer option and you'll see why in a minute. It just seems to route the hoses a bit nicer. And we all know that hose routing is the main reason that we dive with GUE, right? If you're diving with the Lolas and not these Nowtech valves, the outlet's a bit further over and you can angle the regulator slightly differently. Uh, in reality, doesn't really matter once you're in the water. And if you're not a complete moron like me, you can actually screw these in. All right, so let's pop this over here. Like so now we can put the wing on. So we want this to come out. Um, I also want that to come out of that bottom left hand hole and the spare wing inflate to come back behind the wing and the dry suit to root down like that. That makes it all nice and neatly rooted. Then the oxygen system I like to push through like this and just having it looped over the wing just protects the canister from being uh, beaten by the fittings. Small point but quite nice to do. Um, and then I'm going to bring the wing and the ADV hose through this hole again and then back out. And what this actually does is it gives space for this to move up and down as you move in your rig and therefore the hoses don't push, pinch rather, or push or generally get in the way of each other, which is quite nice. Okie dokie. And all this craziness is hidden behind the back plate, which is obviously a good thing because it's pretty cray cray in there. Okay. And then a counter lung. This little loop's a nice thing to do because you can hang the counter lung up and drain it out, but no matter how well you drain it, there's always going to be a little bit of water in one of these lungs. If you're ever stuck in the desert, you can use the counter lung to give a virtually unlimited supply of water so you'll never ever dive first. Make sure you pull that bad boy out and pop it in there so it doesn't get stuck behind the back plate and cause a loss of fabulousness in this. It's important to remember to make sure the counter lungs are attached to the harness. That, and then I think that's the last hose that I didn't show you. That's just a little custom length hose that I made with some undersea reswedgeable fittings, which are great to have in your spares kit. And that's 19 centimeters long. I'm sure that will be highly important to have that exactly to the centimeter. So it's up to you really if you put this on the inside or the outside. One small point to bear in mind is if you put the um, 
elbow on the outside, when you inf uh, add oxygen with the MAV, um, it will squirt in here. And if there's any water in this area, it will hit the baffle and go into the exhale counter lung, not be shot back into the head. Oh, and everything needs a blue H, right? Because that makes it way cooler. All right, so we can take that hose and we can bring it through this gap. Okay, and I like to have that coming from behind the wing and then the solenoid goes down behind and that will plug into the solenoid later on. Okay, we can take this little plug off. And we can connect our ADV. And you can see now that this will actually find its own level because it's able to move freely. It's able to move freely in there, up and down. So that just keeps that all nice and neat and tidy for the people who are interested in the details. Again, if you've done a GUE course, you probably are into the details. I'm not going to say whether that's a good thing or not. Obviously. And pop the spare wing inflator down here. So if for some reason I lost my wing inflator, I've got a spare there. Or if I was feeling a little bit naughty, I could actually run my wing off the dry suit tank and save a little bit of helium. All right, now that's all set. We want this to come like so, behind there, and then that's going to root nicely into the bov, which I'll show you in a minute. Put this into the retainer, like so. All right, that's all good. Uh, then the oxygen SPG, obviously you're never going to have to check this, but it's nice to have. Why is it nice to have? Because for your pre-dive checks, but also if you're planning another 10 minutes at 100 meters, you need to make sure you've got enough oxygen to reasonably finish the decay. 10 minutes at 100 meters could be as much as 10 minutes of extra decay. So you wanna make sure that you've obviously got enough oxygen to do that, right? Obviously don't take my deco advice. I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about when it comes to DK. You've got to find your own way with that. And how do you find your own way with that? By starting with a noun and building up to bigger dives slowly and finding out what does and doesn't work for you. These little Velcro straps just keep it all together and a little Velcro pad there just keeps that all together like a little unit. The MyFlex make that nice and easy to move around and I like the velcro because we can adjust it like I'm doing here so I have the short one at the bottom no one likes to be short or at the bottom so and then the slightly longer one will allow us to go around these strum reliefs I hope that just keeps it all together nice and neat and tidy okay. All right, so let's stand this bad boy up. We can see all the hoses are hidden behind. That's nice and neat and tidy. Your dry suit inflates coming out through there. We can just hide that in one of these retainers so it doesn't drag along on the floor. I'm gonna wind this up. So it's nice and neat and tidy. All right, so let's just pop the bob on so you can see how that roots. Just one little retainer. 
Take these plugs out. I need good teeth for diving. All right, so I like to have that just pointing up like that. You can see how the hose now roots nicely, even when it comes up into the mouth. That little kink at the back helps with the rooting of that. And then the last thing that I would do at this stage is pop the oxygen tank and the Jurassic tank on. Hmm. What can this be? Oh, tire gas. That must be our dry suit bottle. And I really prefer the straps that come with the, the factory configuration. They really do. make it nicer than the velcro strap aftermarket straps that you can buy in my opinion of course you can do what you like and then this is definitely the hardest thing about diving a ccr is connecting all these all right so dry suit done let's get up the oxygen check its oxygen. Of course I'm going to analyse it on the day of diving. I really prefer the Scuba Pro regulator here over the apex that comes with the unit. Of course you must decide what works for you. amount of wiggling needed here as you can see I say wiggling but I really mean struggling and I think that's connected so good to go there she blows okay I hope that was interesting and you got some information from that and I'll make another in this series for setting the rebreather up and doing the checklist thank you